All right, Shalom. First of all, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kudash. Double honors to our apostles, the elders of GMS, to the elect doing the work in sincerity and the truth. Shalom. Um, so, real quick, I got a few articles here. I got two here um, about these drones. You, you can see the article. This is from Forbes. Um, it says Ukraine prepares to roll out an army of ground robots right so these two articles this one and the next one basically they go into how these these nations these countries um every time you see every time it seems like every time you turn on the news or or, or you know the, these countries are constantly putting their money their gdp um into into their military they're constantly trying to increase or make their military more powerful, whether it be weapons, whether it be planes, um, whether it be uh, drones, whether it be missiles, right? Um, you got Ukraine, which, uh, you know, as we, we know, they're involved in a war with, with Russia, which is nothing more than a proxy war. It's really Russia and the U.S., um, but they're involved in a conflict with Russia. And now they're preparing, now Ukraine prepares to roll out an army of ground robots, right? I have another article here. I can't open it because it's not really, Satan's fucking with it. Um, I got a, another, actually, I got another article here um, where it goes into how uh, how um, U Ukraine is also training their soldiers to not only utilize these ground robots remotely right because this is a ground robot that's going to be used remotely they also have drones right they also have aerial drones that 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 you know that they're they're they're, they're going to use they plan on using i'll go to the other article since i mentioned it china china unveils new aerial cluster drone for swarm attack scientists claim new drone can be can split into multiple units while airborne Giving China a tactical edge, right? So these are uh, drones that they want to put missiles on. Now, now they say it's not going to be until 2035, but the point is um, that they're constantly trying to upgrade their military, you know. And I always bring this out, pursuing a Micah the fourth chapter and Isaiah the second chapter. Uh, these can't, you know, the these 1948ers that claim to be the people, they can't be because according to prophecy, once they obtain the land again, um, the scriptures speak about how there'll be no war anymore. But it seems like ever since they obtained that land in 1948, it's been non-stop non war, non-stop bloodshed. Okay. Right, the scriptures say what, uh, and they shall beat their swords into what plowshares. But ever since they've been in the land, it, it's been nonstop. So who's lying? It, it's either their lying, or the scriptures or the Bible's lying. And as of yet, prophecy has not lied. Okay. Um, this is something else. Ooh, this is a this is another article. I mean, I guess I'll. I was reading this. This is a billionaire. He says he uh, suspects there's, you know, the U.S. is going to be, is going to go into civil war. You know, he, he based it basically on the election. All right. So that's funny, right? You, you, you know, he says this. Meanwhile, we had a, a movie co come out this year that, that broke a lot of records that did pretty good called Civil War. And, we'll, and, and what is it? It's a fictitious president who's, who's supposed to be depicted by Trump. Um, uh, he, he just, he just, you know, when, when he's in office, he just causes a whole bunch of chaos and, and the, and the country breaks out into, into civil war, uh, which I thought was funny. I didn't even mean to speak on that, but back to this article. Oh, I got another one. Where is it? China. Yeah, those, those, those are the two articles, but let me, let me bring out the scripture in Isaiah ninth chapter. Uh, nine if Isaiah nine and five is it says for every battle of the warrior <clears throat> is with confused noise and garments holding blood, like the ancient wars. That's how the ancient wars were fought. You had uh, shields, you had swords, um, you know, you had you know you had archers. You know, good movies like Braveheart. That's a good example of that. The movie Troy, um, and, and and such. You know, movies like that. 
where it was very uh it was it was a it was a physical war even you can even go back you know world war world war one you know you had some land you had some ground troops you had bombs also but um really you know really that's going into how the ancient wars were fought but you fast forward now it says let me finish the verse it says but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire right um you could say that that's happening right now that's how war is fought right now you 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 got people uh you got nations you know drop bombs on each other yeah there's some ground troops but for the most part it's 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 aerial right you have missiles that shoot over the ultimate ender to a war is those nuclear missiles which according to prophecy they're going to be used um uh but you have these weapons now that these nations are investing their 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 them them investing their money into these drones um bombs okay you have these ground robots okay so this war is is fought very differently than how it was fought in the past okay a lot of it is aerial and a lot of these nations are putting a lot of money into into you know this this technology you know um showing some tanks here but yeah that's that's pretty much it i wanted to go into that right because like i said and i'll, I'll reiterate the point again about the 48ers claiming to be the people right but ever since they've been in that land it's been non-stop war okay so right now isn't a time for uh for for peace okay right now is a time for war that's why these nations they're putting their money into their military all right um actually let me get um i'll close it with that scripture third chapter right ecclesiastes three and one to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven a time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill, a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, a time to speak. And here's the point, a time to, a time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Right? So right now we're not in a time of peace, man. Right now it's obvious you turn on the news, we're in, we're in a time of war. Okay, so it's high time our people realize what time we're living in we're, in, we're, we're not living in uh, no, no matter how much you you know you might want it to be peace it's hate in the air why because it's it's a time of war because that's what's prophesied to happen prior to the lord's return it's going to be and it's going to get worse it's going to get a lot worse so um that's pretty much it lord will you brothers and sisters edified uh until the next show shalom